In this lecture, we are going to talk about response of baroreceptors to the pressure. How baroreceptors in the human body basically respond to increasing or decreasing arterial pressure. Now, what are baroreceptors and what is their role in uh, what is their role in increasing and decreasing pressure and where they are located? That is something we have discussed in detail in the last lecture. Now, to summarize that lecture. Oh, there are few uh, stretch receptors known as the baroreceptors or pressoreceptors which are basically located in most of the arteries in the thorax but they are most commonly present in the aortic arch and at the bifurcation of the carotid arteries in the at the bifurcation of the carotid arteries they are present in carotid sinus now they are very much sensitive to the pressure changes whenever there is increase or decrease in the arterial pressure impulses are basically sent to brain and then brain analyze and process that signals and send the signals accordingly if the arterial pressure is increasing if the pressure is increasing then the brain sends such signals to decrease the arterial pressure and if the arterial pressure is decreasing then the brain tries to increase the arterial pressure so how basically these baroreceptors respond to pressure we have discussed that the uh, reflexes from the uh, baroreceptors present in the aortic arch are carried with the help of vagus nerve and impulses from the baroreceptors present in the carotid sinus are carried with the help of glossopharyngeal nerve and they are carried to the medulla in the midbrain uh, to the tractus solitarius now this graph this graph basically shows that how the impulses are carried with from the baroreceptors this graph basically show two things one is the number of impulses one is the number of impulses and the second thing is the arterial pressure now when the arterial pressure is increasing from 0 up till 50 60 or 70 no impulses almost zero impulses are being transferred or transmitted to the brain from arterial pressure of 0 till 50 or 60 or 70 almost no impulses are being carried to the brain and the brain is not responding then when the pressure start increasing more than 80 the number of impulses carried from the baroreceptor towards the brain and from the carotid sinus towards the brain they rapidly increase so the increase the number of impulses increase very much rapidly beyond the arterial pressure of around 80 mm of mercury and these impulses reach a maximum limit they reach a maximum limit at around 180 mm of mercury when the arterial pressure reach around 180 mm of mercury then there is almost no increase in the impulses initially no impulses are carried to the brain then when the pressure uh, increases beyond 80 the number of impulses per second uh, transmitted to the brain increases tremendously and beyond the pressure of 180 mm of mercury the, there is no increase there is no increase it has reached its maximum limit from its minimum limit from its minimum limit here around 50 or 60 mm of mercury to its maximum around 180 or mm of mercury now here one thing is very much important the number of impulses sent from the baroreceptor with the help of vagus and glossopharyngeal nerve to the brain are directly proportional to the changes to the changes in the arterial pressure if the pressure is around 150 mm of mercury now then impulses will be transferred or transmitted or carried to the brain but if it is present at 150 and it is started increasing rapidly 
now the rapid change will cause rapid increase in the number of impulses more change change will cause increase number of impulses now increase in the pressure is important increase in the pressure is important but change in the change in the pressure at higher level is more important for more impulses to be carried to the brain another important thing is that this these impulses these uh, impulses carried from the baroreceptor or these baroreceptor mechanisms they are most active around 80 to 120 if we see here from around 80 to 120 the impulses carried to the brain are tremendous they increase tremendously with slight change in this area the number of impulses increase very rapidly and once it has reached around 180 then there is no much increase in impulses so the body basically is trying to keep the pressure in around 1 in around 80 to 120 mm of mercury that's why the system is designed in such a way that the impulses the, the number of impulses carried to the brain is highest in this range in the number of impulses increases more rapidly when there is a rapid change rather than just high pressure so in uh, we are discussing the response of baroreceptor to the pressure that how the baroreceptors are basically responding to pressure broadly we are discussing the regulation the nervous regulation of the circulation how the nervous system is basically regulating the circulation how in nervous system is involved in increasing in arterial decreasing the arterial pressure increasing and decreasing the heart rate now we have discussed different topics um regarding uh, nervous regulation and we have discussed the basic anatomy physiologic anatomy of the baroreceptor that the baroreceptors are basically present in the aortic arch and the bifurcation of the carotid artery and these impulses are carried from these receptors with the help of vagus nerve and glossopharyngeal nerve to the tractus solitarius in the midbrain in the medulla but how they respond they respond when there is change in the arterial pressure and when they respond they respond when the change is the arterial pressure is more than increasing more than around 70 mm of mercury before 70 mm of mercury there is almost no impulses the the, the barrier receptors are not they are least activated because the pressure is not so much so as the pressure increases the arterial stretch increases and they are basically stretch receptors so more pressure causes more stretch and more stretch causes more impulses to be carried to the brain and these number of the number of impulses are basically more in the normal range between the 80 to 120 the body is basically trying to keep the pressure arterial pressure in this range and the number of impulses are more they are carried more uh, when the there is a rapid change at higher level so if the pressure is maintained at 150 or 160 mm of mercury the impulses will be carried to the brain but if it is start rapidly increasing then the number of impulses will be uh, carried more and more so that's all about the baroreceptor response to the pressure thanks a lot for watching the video